Hello everybody, my name is Behzad Farani from Energy Porto and uh, I'm gonna give you a presentation on a study on the passive safety solution on transit buses according to the regulation number 66. This work has been performed in Energy with the colleagues from Catano who is uh, with the company assembling the bus. So the presentation includes a brief introduction on the on the work uh, R66 standard regulation, loading condition and safety region definition, internal energy and model definition with the general view of the experimental test and the mechanical properties. So original geometry and the new design geometry are studied here. The presentation ends up with the conclusion. So uh, in this uh, study, a section of a passenger bus, which is uh, 14.1 meter long, is considered to uh, study the R66 standard regulation. The study aimed at the establishment of the passive safety solutions of the bus if it is subjected to the rollover test. So the, mainly this test uh, concerns about uh, passenger safety and the structural response of the bus if it is submitted to the rollover test. The original structure was experimentally tested under the defined condition and it was numerically analyzed by finite element method formulation simulated in Abacus. So for the original geometry, the experimental and numerical results were compared to the R66 standard suggestions and uh, at the end of the work it is uh, focusing on the new, the new design of the bus in order to perform some numerical analysis. So this is the R66 standard regulation regarding the loading condition and safety region. R66 suggests that so the loading condition as you can see in the in the left image it is uh, about the angle of the of the force application which is defined by beta and uh, it is uh, suggested to obtain alpha from the following equation and on the right side uh, it is possible also to see the safety region which is uh, basically the residual space so this is uh, considering inside the bus and this the standard suggests that the maximum displacement of the all of the parts uh, in, into the uh, inside interior side shouldn't exceed 150 millimeter so we need to consider this in our calculation regarding the internal energy calculation by the R r66 it is mainly possible to obtain the load displacement on the loading position in order to obtain the curve and afterwards from the from the load displacement curve it is possible to obtain the internal energy dissipated from the loading so this uh, the, this condition should be satisfied in all the experimental and numerical analysis which is the in, bus section energy should be mm, um, uh, equal or greater than the minimum energy so the total energy equation is suggested like this with the with the mass with the g and also the delta h and the minimum energy is uh, from this calculation this formulation considering the whole able to 15.6 town and the section mass which is our case it is 1.76 town so finally the minimum energy was obtained as 11.97 kilojoule so let's see if our experimental result and numerical analysis are matching to this uh, minimum energy so regarding the, the the experimental test so this is the general view of the real ex experiment has been performed in the energy so on the left side there is the possibility to see a schematic view of the experiment and on the right side it is the real assembly of the structure which is also the residual space is showing in the figure with the loading mechanism and also the whole structure bus structure in this study, the, the, in order to perform the numerical analysis, some material properties are needed. So they were basically extracted from the company and also some uh, plastic behavior of aluminum and steel alloys are uh, 
performed through the experimental test in, in the laboratory. So all of them are used in the following numerical analysis. So the original geometry, which is already in situ and in used in right now in the bus, so there is a chassis on the, on the bottom, which is uh, made of uh, steel S420, and it is completely welded. All the components are welded. So the other parts, which is the window side, which is the door side, and also the roof structure is basically aluminum and uh, and still so it means that we have some aluminium profile aluminium corners and also aluminium nuts and steel bolts regarding the numerical analysis it was a dynamic explicit analysis with the mass scaling in with the non-linear geometrical effect consideration plastic behavior and it was using FEM simulated in abacus in order to in order to uh, configure the model in abacus in, in through fine attainment method first of all the boundary conditions were defined so there is a reference point on the center of the profile as you see with the rp this is the loading position and also the 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 chassis top surface and the three uh, profiles which is uh, which are basically candidate for the safety region monitoring so three nodes as, as you can see on the right side, N1, N2, and N3 were, were defined on the, on the center of these profiles with the altitude of 950 millimeter to the chassis top surface. This value was uh, suggested by R66, and we should consider this in our numerical analysis. So the experimental test has been done, and following that, the uh, numerical also performed so there is the curve in the left side which is the force displacement and you can see that the the red is related to the experimental and the blue one is related to the uh, finite element method so accordingly it was not possible to capture the whole behavior of the experiment by the finite element method why because they, 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 it was observed that the structure has uh, some failure and damage and a serious damage in in some components and that's why we had some drop in the in the force displacement and it was not basically considered in the the damage criterion was not considered in the um, numerical analysis so the valid result is up to the displacement of 269 millimeter on the loading position so the energy should be 12 kilojoule as, as the standard uh, suggested, but the final element method gives us a value of 753 and the experimental result uh, basically with 731 joules. So there is a very huge difference between the, um, the final element and the experiment to the R66 pro uh, proposal. And um, on the right side, you can see the, the, the displacement variation on, the, on these three points so they are uh, not reaching 150 it means that at this point with 269 so there is no uh, basically contact between the parts bus parts and also the safety region so the new structure the new structure was re uh, was designed and um, it's supposed to have uh, the numerical result and afterwards going for the for the experiment so this is the new structure it is mainly mm, welded with no connection but with no i mean no bolts no knots no corners and nothing and this is just uh, welded all the all the stuff and it is mostly made of a steel so the chassis remain the same but the, the pillars on the door side and on the window side changed in terms of the geometry and the material and also in the in this case we have a roof which is uh, sandwich layers with the foam in this in the middle and also two sh uh, aluminium sheets are surrounding the the bottom and the upper side of the foam so the same exp uh, dynamic explicit analysis with the mass scaling and the plastic behavior uh, uh, considered in this study and this is the result of the uh, sorry this is the configuration of the those points in order to monitor the 
in order to monitor the the safety region and this is the result so here we have the result of the force displacement and the load was 40 kilonewton and the displacement on the and the loading position was 495 millimeter and the energy was almost uh, passing the the minimum energy of the of the proposal which is 12 and it is uh, the, the bus section released uh, more than 12 kilojoule which is we can say that this can pass the the regulation and um, regarding the safety region so the, both uh, points considered for the monitoring did not have the chance to to enter the the safety region i mean that it it was less than the maximum which is 150 millimeter and this is some some uh, graphical representation of the variation of fields on the left side it is the magnitude of displacement and on the right side this is the one misses we, we observe some some parts to be yielded uh, due to the plasticity and the, the conclusion of this work is uh, regarding the the safety so passive safety solution of the of the passenger bus according to the R66 standard regulation for the rollover test real experiment has been done for the for a bus section and the force displacement was monitored on the loading position and what the original structure uh, did not have chance to pass the there are 66 requirements so in this case the new structure was designed and it was numerically an analyzed and the result was satisfactory according to the r66 so the future work is related to to the performing the real experimental test on the new design uh, and also the, comparing the result with the r66 and the numerical validation thank you very much for your attention